first you're going to want to go to Google and you're going to want to let, you're going to want to download this. It's called Auto Hotkey. The web address is right here. I'll post it in the description as well so you can copy and paste it. But basically you download that and you uh, open up the installer and install it. But um, just be careful, I'm not sure it's open source I believe so that might mean that there is some crap embedded in it that might try to install on your computer so when you're going through the installation process just make sure you read stuff and if it says it's trying to install anything that's not hot, auto hotkey then make sure that it doesn't do that because you don't want some random crap being installed on your computer I've had that happen before and it's not fun to get rid of it so basically you're going to download that and then once you have that downloaded you can open it up from wherever it puts it and it'll open up maybe not in a big window like this but it'll probably open up in a window like this and you'll see welcome and all this crap it'll look really confusing but basically what sh all you're gonna need to do is go to basic usage and syntax and um, go down to key list because this is what you're gonna use to decide what keystrokes you want to use to control your volume so you can just scroll down through here and see all of the, what all the keys mean but um, if, you're, if you want to make it just like mine where you use your mouse to scroll, then you don't need to look at this list. What you need to do though is you need to open up your um, file explorer. I'm going to go down to downloads just so I can uh, show you this stuff. I'm gonna, you're going to right click and you're going to hit new and then you're going to go over to auto hotkey script. You're going to click on that and I'm going to name mine volume. You can name it whatever you want, it uh, doesn't really matter. But um, what you're going to do is you're going to right click it and you're going to hit edit script and then you're going to see all this crap, right? So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy and paste this right here. All that. So basically what it means is the hashtag means the windows key and the wheel down means you scroll the wheel towards you. So basically uh, all th this command right here, it means that when you hold down the windows key and scroll down, it'll turn the volume down. When you hold down the Windows key and scroll up, it'll turn the volume up. When you hold down the Windows key and hit F7, it will uh, mute the volume. So I will have this uh, command string in the description if you want to make it just like mine. If you want to make your own keystroke or be able to decide your own keystroke, go to the list of keys and you can um, see what keys you want to use. And then you instead of putting uh, hashtag um, wheel down, you can put uh, if you wanted to make it uh, Windows key uh, number seven on the number pad, but you can make it whatever you want. If you want to make it just like mine, where you scroll the wheel down to turn your vo volume up, and you scroll the wheel up to turn your volume up, then um, you can just copy and paste this. I'll have it in the description for you to copy and paste. And basically, once you paste that, you're gonna hit X on your thing, close it out, and hit save. So then, once you do that, you don't really need this window anymore. Auto hotkey. But um, basically, you have your script here. Every time you run this, it will um, it will have that thing ready. But it'll have it'll be ready to control your volume. But the problem is, every time you start up your computer, it's not going to be running. So you, every time you want to use that volume shortcut, you'll have to open this. So what I'm going to do now is you're going to put that in your run folder. So every time you start up your computer, this hot this script will be running. And what that means is when you start up your computer, the script will already be running and you'll already be able to um, control your volume straight when your computer starts up. So as soon, as soon as your computer starts up, you'll have control of the volume and that's how you want it, unless for some reason you want to be able to open it. But um, as you can see here, I already have my version. Um, I already made one like this and that's why I used to control it right now as you can see up here. But um, I'm just going to show you where to put it. What you're, wanna, what you're going to want to hit is the Windows key and the R key. And then it's going to open up a window right here, and you're going to want to copy and paste this right here. Shell colon common space startup. And you're going to hit OK, and then it's going to open up this window here. And as you can see, I already have my volume toggle right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your script and just move it to here. There shouldn't be anything in here already. If there is, just ignore it and move this in here anyways. But um, once you move it in there, as soon as you start up your desktop, this program will always run and you'll always have control of your volume as soon as you start up your computer. So I'm going to delete this one here since I already have my own script already ready. But that's about it. That's how you're able to control your volume in game and stuff. And 
that's how you control your volume without having to go to the stupid scroller and if you don't have multimedia keys on your keyboard or headphones or wherever. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video or found it helpful, please leave a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I will continue to output work. And um, that's about it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.